we have trade statistics that were developed for a trading system that was basically cloth and wine. Uh, but we have evolved significantly to uh, a system based on trading tasks. So there is a lot that our conventional trade statistics are not capturing right now. Uh, and that is leading to substantial underestimations of a lot of measures. I think the, the example that will be, many of us will be familiar with is the US PRC uh, trade deficit which when we take into account intangible assets such as intellectual property, brands, marketing, and other such assets would actually be 32% lower. So what that means is that trade is moving away from final products. Trade is moving increasingly away from manufacturing and the bulk of the value added is coming now from services, from intangible assets. And so the opportunities for developing countries are no longer uh, uh, assumed to be exclusively in manufacturing value chains, value chains, but increasingly in services as shown by the cases of India or the Philippines. Elisabetta, how has this pandemic and the impact on supply chains had a knock-on effect on global value chains and how has it set back uh, the process of unlocking that value? Uh, uh, COVID-19 has just increased the uh, panorama of overall uncertainty uh, that we already were experiencing through trade tensions and uh, a, a phenomenon that we like to refer to as globalization whereby uh, the advancement of globalization seemed to be already running a little bit out of steam. Uh, COVID-19 has had the, uh, the effect of causing major disruptions in Asia and Pacific, but globally, uh, by uh, you know, creating shortages of many goods and creating excessive demands of others. Um, and at the same time, the demand for a lot of, lots of goods and services collapsed uh, as there were lockdowns and major restrictions being placed on people all over the world. Uh, however, as usual, each coin has two sides. The pandemic also created an incredible opportunity because it accelerated the rate of digitization. Even yes. the most recalcitrant organizations had no choice but to embrace this digitization, to continue and to continue to survive in their operations, but yes. also to radically transform the way they do business.